Hi guys! Welcome to the channel! Ito yung pinakaunang video na ipapublish natin which is we're going to unbox, set up, and review yung pinakabagong edition ni Xiaomi sa Mi Band series, ang Xiaomi Mi Band 5. Nabili natin ito sa Lazada for around 1,749 pesos nung 7.15 sale. So, titignan natin kung sulit ba siya for the price. Sit back and relax because you're now watching Mike Tech. For the unboxing, we're just going to open the box by cutting the seal. So, may kita natin na silyado yung product which is a good thing. Pagbukas natin ay may kita natin yung charging cable which is wrapped sa translucent plastic. Standard cable lang ito so let's set it aside first. The next one is yung mismong Mi Band 5 which is nakarap din sa translucent plastic like yung charging cable. It looks like yung nabili nating Mi Band 5 is already open and charged na. Bali, malilesen din yung usual worry ng mga buyers kasi baka mamaya defective yung item pagbili. Last one is yung user manual. Nasa pinakaloob siya ng box kaya medyo nahirapan akong kunin. The manual itself is written in Chinese kasi Chinese variant yung nakuha natin from the seller. Yung ating box, okay naman making the Mi Band 5 safe inside. Nice addition din yung shiny effect dun sa number 5, so mukhang premium talaga. As always, keep natin yung box and wag natin sisirain for warranty purposes. So, let's proceed na sa specs and setup. Let's unwrap the start of the show. Presenting the Mi Band 5. So, for the physical aspects of the Mi Band 5, we have our dimensions on your screen. Standard affair yung ating dimensions. It really looks like a slick bracelet and sa unang tingin, para lang siyang malit na watch. Yung weight niya ay magaang at only around 12 grams. Yung strap naman niya ay gawa sa TPU material which is smooth and matte. It also feels sturdy and hindi siya mukhang madaling maputol. Meron siyang aluminum clasp sa dulo to lock and secure the band. So, let's talk about the display. It is 1.1 inch AMOLED screen. Bali yung resolution niya ay 126 by 29 which makes our text and icons crisp and colorful. High brightest din siya for easy reading under direct sunlight. And we have a circular touch button. For the other specs, meron itong 6 axis sensor to detect movements. At the back, we have the PPG heart sensor. Yung battery capacity natin ay around 125mAh which is pag binis natin sa numbers ay maliit siya but it's still advertised to last 14 days between charges. Yung ating charger ay magnetic type for easy and convenient charging. Meron ding mga extra features yung Mi Band 5 which is decent and comparable sa ibang high-end smartwatches. At first run, kailangan nating iset up si Mi Band 5 kasi Chinese variant yung nakuha natin. We need to download yung Mi Fit app which is available sa Play Store since Android yung phone na gamit natin but also available for iOS users din. Tap lang natin to pair, then select band, then allow lang natin yung mga prompts for permission. Then magsisearch na yung app for nearby wearable. Yung pag-setup ko ng Mi Band medyo tumagal kasi nag-update pa siya. Recommended din naman natin i-update yung mga gadgets natin to the latest software.
After mag-update ng Mi Band 5 para palitan yung language, just open your Mi app, select profile, and then sa My Devices nyo lang may kita yung Mi Band 5. Scroll down until makita nyo yung language setting, then select English, then select OK, and then all set ka na. So let's explore the Mi Band 5 muna and its features. First is yung status which shows yung fitness stats mo. Si PAI naman is basically a counter for fitness activities. Isa sa mga features ni Mi Band 5 ay yung heart rate sensor and I compare it to my Huawei and comparable naman sila. I did a manual count and I got 74 while counting and 78 sa reading ni Mi Band 5. We have the notification which basically shows your notification. We also have the stress meter to measure your stress. We have the breathing feature for breathing exercises. Yung events naman shows your calendar events. The weather basically shows the weather conditions. And of course, dahil fitness oriented ang Mi Band, we have the workout with multiple activities na available for logging. So, trinay ko mag-log ng fitness activity which is outdoor walking. Si Mi Band 5, wala siyang sariling GPS so it will share the GPS of your phone which is a little inconvenient kasi yung Huawei GT Watch ko may built-in GPS. Extra features wise, we have the DND or Do Not Disturb which you can turn on and off or schedule. You can set an alarm which will vibrate on your wrist and wake you up. Meron din siyang shutter functionality which acts like a remote for your phone camera. You just need to set it up by visiting the Mi app and it's under the lab section. Next is yung music remote app kung saan pwede mo kontrolin yung music playback mo on the phone. There is also timing features like the stopwatch and the timer. In case na ma-misplace mo yung phone, there is a ring feature as well. The silent feature is self-explanatory. Since Chinese version nito, we have the Alipay but I thought if it's working. After that, we have the world clock. Then, you can finally change your band display in which you can also customize some of the elements dun sa watch face. So, let's focus now on the MiFit app. You will be directed dun sa workout tab and yung default niya is sa status. You can also do some workouts like walking, running, and cycling instead direct sa app. Status page, you will also see your PAI, stress, and sleep data. Regarding dun sa sleep tracking, I find it pretty much accurate but I still take it as an overview on my sleeping habits. Sa profile naman, you can change certain settings of your Mi Band 5 just tap P15 sa My Devices and you will be greeted by a couple of settings you can change to customize your experience. You can also download a watch face on the store section and honestly, maraming offerings yung app and it's up to you kung ano yung gusto mo. Just click it and select watch face. Automatic na siya ma-apply sa Mi Band 5. Here, you can change your settings for incoming call notifications, add reminders, alarms, application alerts, idle alerts, incoming message notifications, and goals. So final thoughts on the Mi Band 5. Regarding battery life, I have the continuous heart rate, stress monitoring, as well as sleep tracking and I'm consuming 10% a day. 
Durability wise, the Bandit itself is really sturdy so I don't think na masisira siya agad. If you are looking for a quality smartwatch for under 2000 with a lot of features, especially focus on fitness, then look no further. Worth it siya for the price. Actually, I have my Huawei GT watch and since tinest ko ito, I didn't bother to switch back. For more review and tech videos, stay tuned dahil marami pa tayong budget wearables na nakaline up. This is our very first video and if the channel grows, then I'll be doing a giveaway. This is Mike Tech. Cheers!